Welcome in Design Hub, this is second video of Vessel Design, in this video we will focus on Saddle Design. We already discuss about Vessel in first video. This is Saddle which used to support the Vessel. This is wear plate. This is horn of saddle. This is ribs. This is web plate. And this one is base plate. Due to weight and internal and external pressure, generally three classes of stress are induced in shell and saddle. Longitudinal stress, shear stress, circumferential stress we will discuss in detail one by one first we will discuss about longitudinal stress due to weight of the vessel vessel behave like beam and saddle behave like fixed support Due to longitudinal stresses, vessel deform like this, and stress induced at the saddles. The tensile stresses are on the top, and compressive stresses are at the bottom. These stresses are combined with the longitudinal stress in the cylinder, that is caused by the design pressure, which is a tensile stress for internal pressure. The combined stresses, that result are compared to allowable tensile, and compressive stresses to determine their acceptability. Support design based on lp -SISC z analysis method. As per ASME code, minimum contact angle should be 120 degree. And location of saddle must be as per below. Saddle dimension A should be lower than radius of the shell. Dimension A is often 0.4 times of radius of the shell. Two maximum bending momentum induced in vessel. First one in the mid span of the vessel. Second in both the support. Generally complication occurs at the horn of the saddle. Because of high localized bending moments occur in this area. Which cause localized shell deformation. And this will reduce the ability of shell to absorb bending. Thanks for watching, in next video we will model the saddle in SolidWorks.